Some of you going to sleep and you don't deserve to be. You don't deserve rest. You lazy. You don't deserve rest. Rest is for people who work. You ain't doing nothing. Every day you chilling. You only go to sleep when you've done something. Your ego is a liar. Your ego is digging a grave. A grave of comfort. A grave of comfort that you're going to crawl into voluntarily. Where you get buried and you can't move anymore. That's what happens. That's what happens when you don't accept that whatever's going on is your fault. It is your fault. You can lie to yourself and then you don't need discipline. You can tell yourself everything's okay and then you don't need discipline. You can tell yourself, you can lie to yourself and say that you're winning. You have to be cognizant. You have to be aware of how you are being influenced. Because in this day and age, right now, if you aren't careful, you can slide down the path of least resistance, the path to weakness, the path to fragility, and the path to a lack of control as to what is happening in our lives. In your life, you got to be the master of your mind. You got to exercise mind control. I'm the general. I'm the soldier. I'm going to obey orders without question. And people say, like, what do you tell yourself? I'm going to tell myself anything I'm not allowed to talk, immediate obedience to the orders. That's what we're doing with ourselves. You just can't do what you're in love with, what you're interested in. Sometimes you have to do what you don't want to do so you can live like you want to live. So if it's going to help you reach your goal, even if you don't like it, do it anyway. What's your why? You need a why. Why do you need a why? Because some days you're going to look at that alarm clock and it's going to say six, and six is the time you wake up. And you're going to look again, it's going to say 605. And you're going to say, I don't want to get up. But that why is going to say, push yourself, get up. Your mama needs you, your daddy needs you, your children need you, get up. Your why is going to push you when you can't push yourself. When you want to quit and give up, your why is going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need to make you believe again, to make you get up when you've got up three times. And you say, I'm not getting up no more. Your why? You don't get here by quitting when you're tired. You get here by quitting when you're finished, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you're completed, when you're executed. Execution is worship. And so I execute for my mom. I execute for my grandma. I execute for my sister. That's why I can't quit and give up, even though I get tired just like everybody else. I need you to eat the dream. I need you to sleep the dream. I need you to talk the dream because some days you're not going to feel like getting up. Some days you're not going to feel like keep going. And the dream is going to push you. You a beast until it's uncomfortable. You a beast when the weather is right. You a beast when coast winds.